four communities from Santro Kofi, Akpafun, Lulubi, and Bori have declared their intention not to allow government or any entity to mine iron ore deposits in these areas. Their concerns are born from what is currently happening in mining communities in Ghana where water bodies are heavily polluted with other social and economic negative impacts of mining. For the residents, it is a no to mining from all fronts. The four communities have therefore formed an anti-iron ore mining committee to have a common voice to protect their communities and heritage. Emma Amuzu is one of the concerned women. As peasants, she says their livelihood, which is farming, would be jeopardized greatly. We've seen what is happening in Ghana, especially Ashanti and other areas, the way the mining is destroying a lot of things. So here, the only job our parents do is farming. And then we have these beautiful mountains up here. If we allow them to come in and mine here, then they will destroy our land, they will destroy our farming areas. We wouldn't have anything, any place to farm again. This is the main reason why we said no. We don't want, because we want the beautiful forest and the mountain to remain there as it was before our forefathers left. And so we are here, especially me, on behalf of the women saying that no. Samuel Tete is a metallurgical engineer and has 20 years mining industry experience and hails from the area. He provided some industry experience but wants government to engage communities so as to win their trust before providing any permits or licenses on mining in these areas. As a technical person, a lot of stakeholder engagement is needed. Where uh, the communities will have to be told the bare truth. <laughs> Looking at it in context, the benefit to the community in terms of social infrastructure, maybe they'll build schools, build roads, build ho hospitals. But the effect is that the community will be hungry. Their agriculture will be adversely affected. And the source of rainfall, drinking water, there are sources of water all originate from these mountains. Uh, as soon as you disturb the land area, you expose the minerals to rain. So even if you tell the community you, are, you, you drill boreholes, have you looked at the effect of the pollution of surface mining into the underground water? Aside that, what will be the effect of dust, fugitive dust? If you breathe it in, what is the health effect of uh, airborne diseases on the community? This is where I am coming from. But why are residents in these areas not interested in developing their communities through mining? Here is Emma again. What development are we seeing? We are not seeing any development. And for that matter, we cannot stand here today and say, yes, uh, mining brings development. What development is it bringing in the uh, Ashanti region, Western region, etc., etc.? We cannot allow anybody to come and destroy our forest and then our farms if there is a development would have been seeing it already hmm? charity begins at home and for that matter we can't stand here now and believe any government that yes they will come and then uh, mine here and then bring development what sort of development for heaven's sake nana olato is the chidomhini for san Trokofi traditional area for him, the destruction of their source of water through the mining activities is his concern. Peter Senu for Joy News.